Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be talking about how I rate books. So I guess I'm kind of known for being a bit critical in my book ratings and I kind of just wanted to put it out there that this is the way that I review books. I'm kind of going to go through each of the five stars, give an example of a book that I rated, that rating, and kind of explain why. So we're going to start with the one star rating. I probably give a lot more one stars than other people do. To give a book a one star for me, I have to really not enjoy it at all and I also have to kind of have some sort of a problem with it. If I just really didn't like a book it usually ends up getting two stars. One star is a book that I just I could barely finish. This usually applies to school books or some books for review that like I otherwise I wouldn't have pushed through but I just kind of had to. And one of the books that I gave one star is The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. Now I had to read this for school my sophomore year of high school. I absolutely despised this book. I really, really had a problem with the main character. I understand the point of this book. I know that the main character is supposed to be unlikable. I just really could not connect to this book at all and I just hated this book and if I didn't have to read this for school I guarantee that I would not have finished it. Now is going to be the two star rating. I do give quite a few two star ratings as well. For a book to get a two star from me it has to be something that I didn't enjoy and I just thought it was so-so, or again, I had some sort of issue with it that I didn't really like it that much. And a book that I gave two stars is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This was really popular in the booktube community about a year and a half ago. And the problem I had with this book, I really enjoyed the first half. I loved the main character's point of view, but once the point of view started to go back between different characters and focused more on the war aspect of the book, I really didn't enjoy it as much. War books aren't really something I'm into and once this book started getting into the more war and sci-fi elements of this world I did not enjoy it. So I would have probably given the first half of this book about a four star and the rest a one star so for me it kind of averages out and I gave it a two star. Next is a three star book and three star books I usually enjoy. I like them. There just isn't anything amazing that kind of blows them away from me. There's nothing that really sets them apart from other books. There's not too much really that grabs my attention. And a book that I gave three stars is actually Persuasion by Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen, although when I read this book I really wasn't in the mood to read it and I just felt like I really couldn't connect to the main character. And this book kind of had a lot of angst in it. It was a lot more of a character-based book than a plot based book and I liked it. I was just not blown away by it. There are uh, other Jane Austen books like Pride and Prejudice which is my one true love that I enjoyed a lot more than this one. Next is a four star book and for me a four star book is a book that I really enjoyed. It's something that I really liked. I thought it was really great but there just was something about it that I couldn't give it a full five stars because for me five star books are very rare. It takes a lot for a book to get a five star from me. And a book that I gave four stars is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I love this series. This is a very good start to a series although my main issue with this book, I love this book, I just really wasn't a huge fan of the love triangle in this book. That's really the only thing that didn't make me give this book five stars. All other aspects of this book I really enjoyed. So now we are finally at the five star book. So there are many factors that go into my rating system, especially for a book to get a five star from me. One of those things is emotional attachment. For me, some all of my favorite books I'm emotionally attached to in some way. This doesn't necessarily mean that it made me cry. It just means that I really connected to a book on some level. Another thing that I'm really big on is character development. I'm a big fan of likable characters. There are a few books where I don't like the characters but I still like the book. But the character has to go through some kind of growth from the beginning to the end of the story for me to really like it. And it kind of has to be very well developed characters I guess as well. Something else that I look for of course is writing, plot, all of the basic elements but kind of for a book to get five stars for me it's a bunch 
of different things. It also has to do with enjoyment, when I read the book, that kind of thing. So a book that I gave five stars is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. This is one of my favorite books of the last year and this book had everything. I was emotionally attached to it. It had some great character development. This book also made me think a lot. It made me kind of question the way I saw things which is something that not a lot of books do for me and I just really loved this book. All in all for me the things that really go into my rating system are enjoyment. To an extent I'm not really the kind of person if I really enjoyed a book I'll automatically give it five stars. Usually those kind of books for me if I really enjoyed it but there wasn't too much else going for it I'll give it a three or a four. I also again said looked for character development, emotional attachment, writing, plot, that kind of thing. So let me know in the comments down below how you guys rate books. I think it's always really interesting to see how people rate books because especially here on booktube you see that people look for really different things to give a book five stars. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.